Good day, collective. This is a general healing and ascension message. Remember to only take what resonates, leave what does not. Personal readings are available. The links are in the description box. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Enjoy my members only. So the energy I have out on my table right now, it's a mixture, collective. Some individuals in the near future are realizing their mouth word retreat out of an energy of just being very defensive because they always expect obstacles and challenges so they exonerate toxicity ego they're not jealous they just are a nasty person but they feel like because they're not nasty all the time, they're only nasty when they're doing that word witchery. They're realizing how immature that was now. So whether that's you or them, let's talk about it. Obstacles and challenges caused by manipulation and or word witchery. Someone that just wants to be very controlling and manipulative. And with the devil card, it's out of toxic energy, unhealthy energy. What does the collective need to know about this energy? Also, excuse me, spiritual belch. Be aware that you are responsible for preserving your spiritual protection, doing your own work, okay? Despair. People that were manipulative out of a defensive toxic energy now feel like what they've learned was how to be their own worst enemy. They were taught to be, always have their guard up, always have their wall up, always expect the worst from people. Lack like mindset, love, money, career, education, the whole nine. What does the collective need to know about this Seven of Wands energy? It's conversation taking place, meetings. Um, it's getting pretty hot in whatever kitchen this is in and people are starting to exit, okay? There could also be an altercation in a small room. What does the collective need to know about this Seven of Wands? Somebody had enough time to think for themselves, understand that they're divinely guided and protected to walk away from individuals that like to try to control them. Seven of Wands. Yeah, karmic females. What is... Uh, there we go. If you are a masculine watching, understand that your... Uh, healthy relationships, your home, your physical body, you are protected and on higher ground and level than a low vibrational feminine energy. 
There's a masculine energy that got to uh, calmer waters, more stable foundation grounding, not looking back and kept it moving. Like we're about to do. What does the collective need to Okay, yes, yeah, so I was gonna ask, what did you guys need to know about this magician in reverse and the despair? He had nine of cups in reverse with the eight of pentacles. That spell work did not, was not successful. What does the collective need to know about this poverty? Somebody tried to attack your money. Mm -hmm. You have temperance energy with the emperor energy. I think somebody's so obsessed with work that they are burning themselves out. You have the eight of wands though. Some type of quick, fast communication is gonna be coming up. You got the devil on the devil with the justice card with some type of karma. Somebody's gonna get some karma and it's gonna be very negative. This lack mindset, somebody can end up locked up or really, really um, just messed up. That's sad. All because they wanted to work with the devil. Yeah. That's what's coming for someone. That's what they called in. So it could be a masculine in this energy going through this. And they know for them being over manipulative, moving very quickly into situations that were toxic and unhealthy. He's trying to get to higher ground, but he doesn't have enough money. Could be an Aries and or a Sagittarius. Collective, you can do whatever you put your mind to. You just have to put God at, at the forefront. Don't go to the devil for blessings. That's a no, no. He always comes to take it back. Let me put those right there. Moving forward, we have another situation taking place. Queen of Pentacles with the Two of Swords. There is a feminine energy. It could be a mother, a wife, a child's mother, older feminine energy. She is uh, trying to make a decision at this time involving her family, the people that she considers the closest to her. Her, her do boys. This Queen of Pentacles has do boys, but it's about to be an ending to that. Or transformation. Yeah, it's about to be an ending of some sort. Somebody was concerned about going to jail. I don't think it's going to be jail. And whatever it is, it's hidden from a community of people that's been trying to do terror readings either on or for this Queen of Pentacles. But what does the collective need to know about the Queen of Pentacles? Distant horizons. Sudden wealth, but unexpected income in reverse, message in the upright. So this Queen of Pentacles was under the impression that she wasn't going to receive some type of money. Maybe she was communicating with someone about um, she could have possibly lost some money. So in the near future, she's expecting to receive some. Okay. What does the collective need to do know about this um, two of swords? Maybe this person is at, at a stalemate because they're really a thief and a liar of some sort. Yeah, they thought they were going to be able to get away. They're not. They're not going to be able to get away from physical law or the spiritual laws. This person committed a crime. A spiritual crime is right here. And somebody's ancestors is not having it at all. What does the collective need to know about this unexpected income in reverse? This person is sad, melancholy. 
What's the message? Maybe this is you collective and you're undecided about something, but you so prideful and cocky. It's like, <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah, this is somebody's wife, but their husband is a player and their husband can have a side piece. And in the near future, this side piece is going to get some money some kind of way. You got a friend. Maybe she's gonna ask this husband or wife as a friend. This Queen of Pentacles is also a Queen of Swords. This person is going through transformation and rebirths. But it's not, it's transforming. So it's, it's a, a change in vibration. Put it to you like that. What does the collective need to know about this um, distant horizons energy? You got the three of swords, heartbreak. It could be heartbreak either for this husband, this wife, and the sweetheart. I think this soldier and sweetheart have children together. This wife is ready to put an ending to something, somebody, situation. Could have paid for it to be done. And it could be evidence, a text message or an email or something like that. Ooh, we got the Ace of Swords right there with the Ace of Cups. This truth and clarity is going to force individuals to listen to their intuition and walk away. This is going to be a huge scandal. Love affair triangle. It's going to be very toxic. It's going to be very toxic. Clarify the sudden wealth. Mm, you got justice. That could, that's definitely a court situation. Either this wife husband or sweetheart but somebody is going to court for some money but with the two of swords it was indecisiveness there somebody was unsure possibly confused and or blindfolded what's the thief energy mm -hmm. you got the magician manipulation yeah and then you got temperance right here it was a theft of energy through relationship. Yeah, it's truth and clarity. You got the Page of Wands, the Ace of Cups, and the Ace of Swords once again. This is judgment. Karma. For something that happened in the past with the Four of Cups. Somebody wasn't expecting someone to get their strength back. Yep. Like a low vibrational feminine or either just a confident energy. I feel like they got their, their strength back and some people started walking away. Other individuals had invested too much. Yeah. Seven of Pentacles right here. Other individuals invested too much, so they stuck around. But now that has them in this energy. Official person in reverse. Nothing is going right in their favor. Nothing is going good for them at all. They're experiencing nothing but endings and delays. Official person in reverse. I feel like this is more than one person. Yes, yeah, these people, pleasure seekers right here. Could be these three people. So you have faithfulness and then waiting like this. The bottom line is these energies are going the opposite directions. One energy is like, I'm not waiting. Another energy is in a 
jealousy waiting energy. And I say jealousy because the devil card had then came out a few times. Faithfulness in the sideways, telling the truth sometimes, lying sometimes. That's gonna be a mess. Anything else for the official person in reverse? Yeah, letter. It's proof and evidence of some real messy stuff, y'all, that took place. Somebody cares, somebody doesn't care. Like somebody all the way is really in their head about this situation. Yeah, this was a shock. They were very, very surprised to see what they saw. This thief energy. Somebody had been investing and just... Um, Using magic to steal energy. To manifest bullshit, basically. Yeah, it was to manifest boo-boo. They say it was for love, but God said it wasn't for God's love. So, therefore, it was not love. Somebody in deep caca. And then be trying to psychically manipulate people so they'll change their own will of fortune or have messed up cycles. What does the collective need to know about this letter energy when it comes to official person in reverse? Somebody may try to communicate with you guys. You have the seven of wands though. So those energies that I was telling you that you are protected from. Yeah, you have the full card. If you be confident and bold in yourself and walk away from whoever these energies are to you, whether it's the Queen of Swords and Queen of Pentacles or whoever, however it resonates for you, go ahead and walk away and you'll be able to get a new opportunity because you are protected. What does the collective need to know about the pleasure seekers? They know you're healing. They can see you healing. But they also can see you transforming. They know your strength. Regardless if you are a twin flame or divine soulmate, whoever you are, you have that's high vibrational dealing with this situation, healing through this situation. They know it. They want to try to put it into you possibly. I don't know. Maybe you've been thinking about walking away from social media. They want you to, but they don't. <laughs> What else about the pleasure seekers? Unofficial people. Yeah, that queen of swords energy, y'all. Could be a group of women that think they're very smart. They do a lot of things in the dark, though. What's the waiting in reverse? Ooh, that came out strength on strength. You too strong. They can't even be jealous. All they can do is respect your strength collective, literally. It's nothing for them to be jealous of. Yeah, Knight of Pentacles. You've been healing for a very long time. You, you're, you've been on your divine path. Somebody's actually having a realization of why was I not, why did I have so much whatever towards this person why was I so indecisive or confused or whatever and what's the faithfulness It's unfinished cycles for a Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. These are Knight of Wands type of energy. Moving, they move very fast. Could be players are passionate, but they're unhealthy. Sun card in reverse. The things that these men have been doing have been overly exposed. Three of Cups, Emperor in reverse. Okay. Faithfulness. So these are literally lads. Do boys, like I said, four of Pentacles. Page of Cups, Page of Wands, Kids, King of Cups right here. 
Masculine energy is trying to be faithful to raise their children, save their money, be responsible financially. Divine masculine energies. Keep practicing self-care and self-love collective. Okay? That's what God really wants you to do. You're learning. You're also going to be a teacher. But you have to walk away from whatever group of people or associations or organizations and friendships that you know it's time to let go. Whatever experience that you've had or will be having, whether it's a harsh, painful ending and or a backstab and betrayal, for you, that realization is not going to be... Um, irrational okay it's not it maybe it won't make sense at first but you're gonna see it occur and it's gonna it's gonna be making sense okay let's get into the queen of swords ace of pentacles ten of swords and the ten of pentacles energy the, whoever this queen of swords energy is had a very unclear idea what's new Somebody had a very unclear idea involving investments and or money, houses, gifts. This could also be a masculine energy or a stud. What does the collective need to know about the Ace of Pentacles? What does the collective need to know about the Ace of Pentacles energy at this time? Karmic masculines are in a lot of stress and turmoil because they're losing money, houses, cars, investments, jobs, marriages. Things are being seized by different departments of the government. And some people are expecting that to happen to them as well. So it's leaving them to be in despair too. And that's because they were doing death rituals for money. They were doing spell work, either getting paid to do the rituals or paying for rituals, etc. You don't use spell work to like call yourself going after an op that's real immature and stupid. It's a different pathway for you to take to do that than actually wishing death on an op. And I do mean death of finances, opportunities, any of that. What does the collective need to know about the Ace of Pentacles? We have courtship involving relationship and or gifts. What about the Ten of Swords? You got the child card. Somebody feels backstabbed and betrayed. Involving a situation either that was childish and or pregnancy or a child. And involving a group of people. And then we have the Ten of Pentacles and the Queen of Swords. What does the collective need to know about the Ten of Pentacles? You got courthouse. Ancestral court, literally. Yeah, let that message get out and it's not a secret. Somebody been trying to keep something a secret, it's not. What's the queen of swords? Those that need to know, no. Those that need to know, no. Privileged lady. On the journey now, if you are a high vibrational queen of swords, you're supported by your ancestors, you're going through your transformations and rebirths in the near future, um, you are going to be receiving a gift of some sort, possibly child support or alimony or a gift from a group of people or someone that you are connected to and known since childhood type of, type of energy. For the high vibrational aspect of this, what does the collective need to know about this message energy? Yeah, divine feminine and divine masculine, y'all karma for this situation, past life, having children, etc. It's new opportunities, literally. Positive will of fortune and destiny. Remember to stay in the ebb and flow. 
high vibrational thoughts only. What does the collective need to know about this message and Ace of Pentacles energy? Four Swords, meditate, clear your thoughts in your mind and your head about it. Somebody in their head about it because they have a money problem. They have been for a long time. They feel like it's been a lot of delays. That delay could have been because of a relationship. You might have been uh, investing your time, money, and energy into somebody low vibrational and you knew it wasn't moving forward so you need to put an ending to it or either you did okay whatever you're scared of you need to like walk in confidence it's like you know you shouldn't be scared but it's still the fear of the unknown you have to release that you have to release the the what's next healing that's it, healing. Just know it's all part of your divine path. Star card. Courtship. You got the seven of cups. Illusions, options, possible confusion or overwhelming. Ace of Pentacles. Somebody had options when it came to a relationship. And they could be finding out it was just all for finances, sex, addictions, toxicities. And now, spiritual court, ancestral court is in session. What does the collective need to know about this courthouse energy? Mm, you got the star card in reverse with the two of pentacles. Yeah, that situation is... There's a masculine. He going through it because of some magic backfiring. I feel like it's impacting his finances as he's trying to parent and there's a pregnancy involved, possibly with a third party. He could be trying to get this third party to get an abortion to close out that cycle. He is somebody's child's father in this situation. Somebody going to court and want their money back, possibly after finding out proof a pregnancy was aborted, but it wasn't theirs. Some type of situation like that that I just picked up on. What's this child card? You got the hermit. The child could have been an entity born for financial reasons, cursed. What's 